FightfulWrestling.com's The List and Your Boy podcast, airing Wednesday evenings at 6 p.m. Eastern. I want to talk about the XFL, Sean, oh, because dude, another yeah. another brick fell this week. Maybe a wall fell this week. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, let, and let's talk about it. Off, they're singing right along with it. <laughs> it was, it was so, a big one. So I'm sure by now everybody knows. So the AAF, what is it? The Alliance of American Football. It, it ain't shit now. No, well, I'm, well, I'm telling the story, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so it was the league. Charlie Ebersol's league got a one-year heads up on. Uh, I almost said on WWE. Got a one-year heads up on the XFL. They could cherry pick talent. They could cherry pick venues, cities, everything they wanted. They had a TV deal, which the XFL still has not announced. Yesterday, uh, April 2nd, they announced that they're suspending football operations effective today, April 3rd, after only eight weeks. Uh, and did you see the email that they sent out, Sean? Oh, yeah, it was so bad. So the email that they sent out, they basically told staff, I can't imagine, Nigel, if I, I could never do this to people. They basically said, hey, if you hear from us, that means that you're still employed. If you don't hear from us, that means you're fired. That's basically what they said in the email. If you don't hear anything from us, that means you're fired effective tomorrow, what? which is unbelievable. What? Yeah, which is unbelievable. Uh, and what ended up happening was, so Tom Dundon, who's the owner of the Carolina Hurricanes, he's the guy that earmarked $250 million in February to fund the AAF. They were in negotiations with the NFL Players Association. They wanted to become a developmental league for them. Uh, they wanted uh, the NFL to feed them players under NFL contract because they thought, number one, it's good for us to, to have these developmental players for you guys and have that connection and maybe get some funding too. Number two, the play will go up if we have yeah. NFL players playing in the league. The NFL wasn't cool with it for different reasons, and so Tom Dunn decided to pull out uh, against the wishes of the co-founders. Now, one thing I do want to mention, because you know how people take everything out of context, Sean, and there's going to be headlines about, oh, the AAF blew through $250 million in two months. That's not true. So Tom Dunn and Earmark, $250 million, but he did not spend $250 million. Yeah. He was funding them on a week-to-week -week basis. Uh, and so he basically just told them, I'm not funding you guys for next week. And so that's why they had no choice. They're still hoping to get funding. I don't think it's going to happen. Cut his losses. He cut his losses, yeah. So they've suspended operations. They haven't officially folded, but it looks like that's going to happen. Uh, I did some of the math here because, of course, everybody's thinking about Vincent Mann and how senile he must be, right? So Tom Dundon, in about two months, spent about $90 million. Uh, because apparently, as, or I should say 70 million, it would have been 90 million if he, if he went the next two weeks, because they said that the rest of the, of the season was going to cost another 20. He spent 70. From uh, early February after week one until this week, he spent 70 million bucks. And so that takes you to Vince McMahon. And I went back and I looked at the press release from when they launched the XFL or announced the launch of the XFL. He said at that time that he was willing to spend 500 million over three years to get the XFL off the ground. 500 million over three years is an average of 167 million a year. So far, Vince McMahon has committed 372 million because he did two stock sales. He did one for 100 million in December of 2017. He just did another one last week for $272 million. So uh, it's a lot of money to burn, Sean, a lot. And if the AEF has shown us anything, it looked like on the surface they were doing things right. They were in cities that didn't have NFL, uh, their attendance was decent. They had a, a, a television deal, and yet they were just bleeding money over 10 million bucks a week. And I can't see how it's going to be any different for the XFL, aside from the fact that Vincent Mann seems ready and willing to lose 500 million bucks in three years. It's just a bad idea. That's it. It's not it's good. It's just a bad idea. It's and I good. go back to that Stephanie McMahon quote where she says, My dad always says it's okay to make a mistake, but don't make the same mistake twice. 